Let's fire this thing off. All right. The Boston College Eagles. Jeff Halfley. Rocking and rolling. Oh, by the way, if anybody wants to argue with us, comments are open. Jump on in there. You can also find us on Twitter. I'm at Gary WCE. I'm at Chris B. Giannini. Let's roll on. Jeff Halfley is uh, is doing his thing, right? Uh, last season went 6-5. and five. Very impressive. Very impressive for a first season, especially in a COVID year like that. Uh, I don't think his defense was exactly what he wanted it to be last year. They didn't have quite the pieces to fit what he would have liked to have run when he was at, like, Ohio State. But he found a way to do with what he had. Uh, I think we might get closer to it this year, maybe just a touch. Um, there's a lot of experience on the defensive line and in the secondary. I don't think there's enough talent yet to do what he wants just yet, but it's getting closer, getting closer, and and he is picking up on the recruiting trail. Now, that doesn't mean crap for this year, but uh, the win total for this season is seven. Um, you know, to win this division, it's probably not going to happen, but they're at plus 2,800, their fifth best odds in the division out of seven. Not great. Um, SP Plus got them going seven and five. FPI's got them going 7-5. and five. Uh, Their win total, 7. To go over is minus 140. To go under is plus 110. Uh, schedule, you know, it starts out well. Kind of difficult. The offense with um, with their OC, Frank Signetti, and quarterback, Phil Jerkovich. Uh, they're going to be great, I think. They've got uh, an explosive receiving core. Uh, they've got all five of their offensive line coming back. Uh, you know, I think it's a... I think... Halfley took over a pretty talented roster that Adazio left behind. Completely agree. Yes. So, I I do think that they are pretty good, but when I look at the schedule, I look at the road games, I look at what they got to face this year, I think this is like the drop back kind of season, just a touch, and then I think they kind of take off again in 2022. I'm going to go under the 7 at plus 110 here. I know that sounds crazy, but I, I think I think last year, like, yes, they got a great quarterback. I think the defense is going to have some more struggles this year. I'm gonna go under it just just for this year because Seven's I think they're gonna I think they're gonna shoot to the moon in no. 2022. Seven's a lot. I think I think you're probably right. So I think you're probably right. I, I'll take I'll go under as well. You like Halfley? Yes, I do too. Yes, like a I, lot. I think he's gonna turn that thing around there a lot. So. I would love for Boston to have a great college football team or, or at least a good, exciting college football team. I need more excuses to go there in the fall. <laughs> I tend to agree. I tend to agree. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.